Gardeners and Succulent Growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, this is going to be an update on the gorgeous cactus plants that we got from our wonderful friend Danny Rose. And also an update on the wonderful news about our new polytunnel. Those of you who watch my channel know that I've been talking about uh, that we're having a new polytunnel coming soon. It's going to be a totally clear one, which is going to be perfect for all the cacti and succulents. And we heard from the polytunnel company that they're going to be coming this Friday to fit up the new polytunnel so we're mega excited now obviously Hans and I have got a lot of work on our hands this week because we have to completely empty our old green polytunnel we've got tons of plants in there some very large and heavy bring them into the house um, box them all up and bring them all into the house into um, anywhere we can find places before we can take down the big green polytunnel and then we're going to be taking down the polytunnel and clearing out the yard because we have to make sure the space is completely clear for when the guys come to fit the polytunnel up so we're mega excited and the polytunnel company we're going with is called Polytunnels NI they've got a fantastic reputation and uh, the guy Wayne it sounds a lovely lovely guy as well so we're mega excited and yes we're going to film the process when we're taking the plants out and also also when we collapse down our old one and also when we have the new one as well so this week I'm going to be when we're doing it filming little video clips but I might not have time to put the the video up obviously until next week but do stay tuned for that it's going to be fun and games when we take all the plants out and when we collapse our old one down and it's going to be very exciting when we get our new one and then putting all the plants back in again but anyway that's the update on that so it's really exciting and then these are the gorgeous stunners that um, I um, potted up and I'm very happy to say I had a fantastic time potting up these stunners. If you didn't see the unboxing video that I put up, I think it was on Saturday, then do go and check out that video. It's a massive unboxing where I unbox these stunners. And I'll link that video up above and down below in the video description. And these beautiful cacti were very, very generously um, gifted to us by our wonderful friend Danny, Danny Rose. And Danny is a, is a wonderful, wonderful friend of ours and a fantastic guy as well. He loves plants and nature and animals. And he's, we just have a lot in common with him. He's, he's a super guy. And uh, Danny, thank you so much for your very kind generosity to give us these beauties, all from his own collection. Danny is uh, going to be moving house and he wanted to offload some some of his beauties where he knew they'd be taken care of so Danny these are these are them all potted up and they're going to be very well loved and cared for and I've, I've got a mixture of a few different types you'll see in the unboxing video but just quickly running over three different types of beautiful large mammillarias and uh, two other type here of uh, smaller mammillarias beauties two cluster cacti a lovely Ray Bootia that we potted in a lovely round bowl pot there. A gorgeous Ceres Pruvianus Monstrose. A gorgeous Perodia Atonis, lovely big size. Look at it with my hand. And a lovely selection of Gymnos as well. Different types of Gymnoclisiums here. Large beauties. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful stunners. And uh, a lovely Matilio Cactus Geometricans. That was a top cutting from Danny's... Uh, mother plant and that that's beautiful too and uh, we've also got some gorgeous echinopsis as well varieties here uh, echinopsis subdenudata and obby panda and orizontiana but this one has lost its roots as danny danny mentioned so i've potted this up in grit i'm gonna talk about the potting mix i've used for these now but i potted it up in grit and the reason why it's in a yellow pot when all the others are black and brown is that i know that this is one that's have to treat as a cutting come the spring this one here is a lovely echino cactus grusonii commonly known as the golden bow beautiful there and two lovely apuntias one apuntia microdaces and the albispina variety and a lovely miniature apuntia not quite sure of the variety but it's a lovely little variety there and lovely Turbini Carpus Swobidae. I've potted this up just in pure pumice and I've top dressed it with grit. Ideally, if I had some gypsum, I'd add some gypsum to the soil as well, but I haven't got any gypsum, so I've just put it into pumice and, and uh, top dressed with grit for now because it's one of the more, more of a delicate, special species. But I'll probably repot this again in the spring and add a bit of gypsum to it, but it'd be okay like that for now. And here, a Cory Panther variety, beautiful, a Stenocactus. 
an absolute gorgeous variety there very very generous Danny now this is the Ripsalis uh, Paradoxa cuttings that Danny gave me and I potted these up here and this is going to be the only one I'm going to be watering because it's an epiphyte and because they're cuttings I'm going to need them to root and I'm going to be just lightly spraying this with a bit of mixing it with a bit of water every couple of days and onto the, the top of the surface of the soil just to encourage rooting and a very beautiful Ripsilis. I've used a different soil mix with this one. I've used a bit of peat in it and I've also used perlite instead of sand and grit because it, they're like more of an epiphytic soil. This was the other beauty that Danny gave, Danny gave me a few months ago doing very well here and this is my big old uh, Ripsilis paradox here that I've had for absolutely years and it has grown very 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 long does very well here on the hanging basket stand pretty easy to propagate as well by just pruning the um, pruning the, the stems and letting them dry for a couple of days and you can even put them in water to root them or you just pop them up in an epiphytic cactus soil and uh, lightly spray the the top of the surface of the soil to get them to root so happy days and then this beauty is going to be going here and uh, the mix I've used for the majority of these would be my traditional cactus mix, which is three equal parts of uh, John Innes number two with grit and horticultural sharp sand. Now, I've used this for pretty much all of these, except for the 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 Echinopsis horizontiana because it's lost its roots. So I've just potted that up in grit and the Turbiny carp, is, carp as well. I've used just pumice and top dress with grit. All the others are pretty much in the same mix of three equal parts of loam John Innes number two and uh, grit and sharp sand. So now I'm going to put them onto the onto the tables and show you what they look like when they're all put away. Now I'll show you where I've put them here. I've got the Serious Monstrose there in the window and also the little Turbiny Carpus I've got in the window as well because there's space for it there. And then I've got the two little Pontias here on the table here. And then I've put all the other ones here on this side of the table on the grow room and they'll get plenty of light there from the grow light the mars hydro and also plenty of light from the the sun when it comes through the window when cacti are overwintering which these are all overwintering at the moment i'm not going to be watering any of these at all i've used dry soil by the way i won't be watering these now probably until the end of march or probably the middle of april depending on the weather because they like to be kept cool and dry over the winter so as i say all these here are possibly most of them anyway going into the the new polytunnel and are kept totally dry over the winter but for now they'll be fine here under the grow lights and absolutely fantastic so again thank you so much danny for your kindness and thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for um, the updates on our new polytunnel and when we empty in all the plants out it's going to be fun and games guys and if you haven't done already don't forget to subscribe do click the notification bell you can also follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at desert plants of avalon and for more growing tips check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus powered day Woohoo! so exciting